Begin with new information. One victim of the Beaver Creek stabbing has just been released from the hospital while the other is still recovering there. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And good evening, I'm Katie Houston. We first brought you this breaking news on 2 News at 5, live from Grange Hall between Dayton Xenia and US 35. Well, since then, Alexa Ashwell has been talking with neighbors and investigators to learn more. She joins us now live with our top story at 11. Alexa? Mark, Katie, multiple people were inside this house when the fight happened. Three men were injured, two stabbed. I spoke with a detective a couple of hours ago. He tells me one of the two men is still being treated here at Miami Valley Hospital. The third man was treated and has been released from Soin Medical Center. But tonight, what remains a mystery is what sparked this fight. Police walk inside a Beaver Creek home on Grange Hall Road minutes after receiving reports of a stabbing. We've collected a club, several knives, and a hammer that have all appeared to have been used at some extent in the attack. Officials say multiple people were inside the house when three men, two of which are related, began fighting in the front living room. There is typical um, evidence of a large struggle. It's disorderly. The fight poured outside into the front yard of the home. The three men were rushed to local hospitals while investigators collected evidence and gathered the weapons recovered on the front porch. Witnesses who were inside the home when the fight happened were interviewed, as well as family members who showed up afterwards. I was just coming home and they were all in the street, oh, the police officers and the ambulances. Miranda Morgan lives across the street with her family and says she was surprised when she heard what happened. Just a little shocking seeing all the cars when I came home. So, you know, I have small children, so it was a little concerning, but, you know, people do crazy things. Investigators don't know what sparked the fight, but say it doesn't appear any illegal activity was involved. This is not a problem area. Um, I personally have never been to this location and I'm not familiar with any calls at this address. Now, detectives have interviewed all three victims. Charges are expected to be filed. Investigators plan to meet with prosecutors in the morning. Stick with 2 News and WDTN.com for the latest. For now, reporting live from Miami Valley Hospital, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.